Oh, well, hello there, and welcome back to EU4 Expert Tutorials! Um, this is an update to the Florinomics video. In the uh, previous Florinomics iterations, I showed you how to get nigh infinite money from loans by stacking negative interest modifiers. And today, I'm going to show you how to get literally infinite money. Infinite. Cash, money, cash. Buckets of ducats. This tutorial was made in 1.20.1 Ming batch. And let's just say it'll be a very interesting video. How to get negative interest. Now in order to get negative interest, you first need 6,000 development. And in the clip you're watching right now, I'm using console in a normal game, but you can do this in Iron Man as well, to integrate enough countries. And uh, at game start, 6,000 development is a little less than half the globe. Um, there is about 14k development in the world in 1444, and you might be thinking, if I've conquered half the globe already, what's the point? Well, at game start, it's half the globe. But there's this fancy fancy button in the game called Raise Development, which the AIs like to hit that at almost as much as you would like to hit that. Meaning that at game end, it's about 25% on normal, which usually maxes out at 24k, and on very hard, it's going to end up being 28k in development in the world in total. So there'd still be a lot left to conquer. Uh, aside from that, if you ever find yourself in a position where you'd like to do a one faith, infinite money does come in handy since it allows you to build cathedrals everywhere, thereby effectively giving you plus three missionary strength. So you get your 6k development and now all you do is take at least one loan and press the bankruptcy button. Now that you're bankrupt, take another loan and now pay it back. Yeah. Yeah. That is indeed negative interest. So the bank is paying you to take loans, like a lot too. Quantitative easing to the max. Now an important note here is that when you take the loan, it'll show the correct interest, but if you then click to pay it back, it opens up the pay back window, and then it'll show negative interest, i.e. profit, i.e. infinite money. Now the calculation for this is as follows. A thousand times months remaining of the loan, the amount of debt in that loan times the interest. And if the answer to that calculation is more than 2 to the power of 31, or 2,147,483,000 648, it will result in negative interest. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a little something something called integer overflow. Now I've got no idea how this works, I'm not a mathematician, I just press buttons until it works. But um, a viewer named, Z and I'm gonna butcher this, uh, Zibik New, uh, more acquainted to this sort of thing, figured out the exact formula, and uh, you know, we can go from there. So I suppose you don't technically need to go bankrupt if you're a lot bigger. You just need to bust out a calculator and make sure that a thousand times 60 months times the amount of the loan that you're taking times your current interest is bigger than 2,147,000,000. So, uh, you can lower a stab by resetting native colonization and getting events for plus interest, like uh, I believe the Dutch get some disasters. Um, the tulip crisis or something that gives them extra interest and that might allow you to get it with less than 6,000 development but you know you can control your stab by uh, grabbing a colonist and uh, switching your native colonization thing or um, well the biggest one is going bankrupt because it's n n plus five interest per annum and it's all about uh, yeah, getting bigger than uh, 2 billion 147 million, so you kind of want to get all the things you can get. So, uh, yeah. So, you take loans, you pay them back, rinse and repeat until you hit the money cap, which is, uh... 
one million of a million dollars of a million dollars of a million dollars of a million dollars in dollars keep in mind you don't want to take loans whilst already at the money cap it'll give you the debt but it won't give you the money so yeah it's uh infinite money at the cost of zimbabwean levels of inflation but hey who cares you've got one million dollars anyway and you can always do it again you just need to go bankrupt again and uh the bankruptcy modifier got nerfed to shit, so it only reduces your morale by 50% now, so your armies can still properly fight. You don't even need to do that much uh, wonkiness to properly fight battles. Um, and uh, the modifier only lasts for five years. So during those five years, you could spend all that money, just build every single building. Well, technically, I suppose... Building a building would take 12 months, so you'd you'd be able to build five buildings in every province and then hit the money cap before the bankruptcy modifier runs out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to uh, leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe, and also uh, share this with your friends. And uh, yeah, the, um, the stack like tutorial is still coming out. Uh, soon too, probably next week. I'm a little bit... Uh, I'm a little bit strapped for time at the moment, but I'll try to get it out as soon as possible. But, uh, you know, the art of the stack wipe, it, it, it cannot be rushed. Oh, patience, young grasshopper. Hmm. Patience and serenity is the key to wipe. Ming Li, Ming Li, Ming Li. Yes. Anyway, thank you for watching, and bye bye.